Hi there, I'm Cindy Dole, host of Home Wizards. Zena Yamamoto, the woman of the household in this winning family of our Outdoor Oasis contest, is quite the gardener. She is passionate about it and has been so discouraged by, well, her depressing flowers, like these roses behind me and the sunflowers that went kaput. Well, that is all going to change real fast. We are going to have a complete landscaping makeover, thanks to our friends at Armstrong Garden Centers and Calscapes, Hardscapes and Landscapes. All this is going to be turned into this lush outdoor oasis, creating quite the backdrop for all their family and friends to enjoy this complete backyard makeover. Take a look. Jason, tell us about uh, your vision for the project. What is your idea uh, that's going to make this kind of boring backyard look really fantastic? Well, I think the first thing to think about is that we came in with a great, um, a great winter that had really basically nothing in the yard that would constitute us to, to try to incorporate too much. So we had a, really a blank canvas to have uh, pretty much anything that we wanted to do happen. And since that happened, so we were able to put all the stuff that we're planning to do where the pond can be as big as, as uh, pro ponds can do. Uh, the furniture, the fire pit, the seating areas. Um, we picked really great stones. We actually expanded uh, a lot of our living space to incorporate closer to the house to have a, a closer courtyard. And the barbecue is going to be nice. Yeah, so it's a lot closer, more functional to the household to where it's not so far in the backyard where they're going to probably never use it. It's going to be more of a, a spider home than anything else. So here we are at the uh, new aspect of our, our new patio for the Yamamoto's. We're going to be able to come right out the back door, mm -hmm. enjoy a new level seating area, which before it was extremely sloped down um, to allow for the natural drainage out. We'll still have the natural drainage, but now it's going to be a little bit more level so that they're going to be able to put tables and chairs and a lot more functional. Let's, let's have a look. So through here we have that these trenches are set up. Yes, these are our gas lines and our irrigation. Um, we'll have a step down down to here and a planter in here. Um, our barbecue will be coming over here. Again, Steve and Zena will be able to then access their their guests and look at their guests from you know without having to turn their back. Um, again, they'll be able to stay here and also watch the kids be able to enjoy mm -hmm. a little bit more of this area which they never probably went to. Again, we're, we have our, our kind of uh, entertaining area mm -hmm. and the, the cooking area close to the kitchen um, by the house. Now we're going to come out here to the more secluded area. Our the resting pond, area. The exactly, retreat. exactly. We're going to have our pond and our waterfall coming into here. We're going to have our raised patio here with a nice big S-shaped bench uh, with a nice smooth stucco. Even if, uh, you know, mm -hmm. the, uh, the Yamamoto's aren't able to, you know, readily throw the cushions back on there if you know it's been a few mm -hmm. months or mm -hmm. what have you uh, you know even if they sit down on the concrete it's still gonna be a nice smooth nice bench. so this is where the concrete will come up to the edge of the pond that you're talking about well yeah actually right your, here? your your patio area here is going to be a natural stone mm -hmm. so again we're using another element and another feel so it's gonna have a lot more of a rustic feel the inside of the Yamamoto's house has a real uh, even the outside architecture has a real Spanish uh, you know style to it so mm -hmm. Um, we're going to incorporate that here with some Arizona flag, some nice smooth stucco. Um, this is the pine tree that you spoke of. Exactly. A I nice. Mean, you can't get any more shade than that and any, any more of a vertical element. And look at the sun setting on it. It's beautiful. Exactly. This whole outdoor living room uh, look is so important, and that's really what you've mastered at Calscapes. How have you come up with um, some interesting designs so that uh, the family will have little go-to destinations in unique areas of the yard? When we first came here and talked to Steve and Zena, they had uh, one big request, which was to have uh, a bigger sports court for the kids since basketball is a big focus for the family. So we ended up in having uh, to blow out a lot bigger space. And I think we have about 26 feet or so now mm -hmm. where they almost have almost a half court to play with. They, they don't have to worry about the kids sitting at the television or you know playing video games all day. They're actually hopefully going to stay outside and you know, really kind of have a little bit more of that Americana feel where they are able to utilize what they've really invested in and to, you know, play in their backyard. Kind of like what I used to do as a kid, and I know my father, I know my son doesn't anymore. He's more and less in, into playing video games and going outside. So <laughs> hopefully with the play equipment that they have, um, Albright did a great job at refurbishing that. Mm -hmm. And uh, so that looks really great. It looks brand new again. 
Um, they've already said that they're really happy about that, so they've been playing on it again like it's a brand new unit in their house, I mean in the backyard. So, so how do we know um, what style is us when we want to uh, kind of venture into this whole outdoor living room experience? Esther and Frankie, which is another division of Calscapes, basically is able to create more of that um, feminine touch mm -hmm. of, of the yard um, where Christine is able to uh, bring in the draperies, the outdoor mm -hmm. draperies. The that pillows are, and the... Yeah. I mean, if you've, if you've seen you know, our, our website and, and, and if we've gone to your house and you've seen our portfolio, you'll know that when we incorporate you know, that aspect, the accessories, you know, so that's, important. it finishes the yard. Yeah, I it mean, makes it a living room. Yeah, exactly. I mean, my personal preference is always to put some big vertical elements in, uh, mainly trees. The Yamamoto's were really lucky because they have massive trees in their front yard and their backyard. So it's going to have an already semi-established look. So when, you know, we're... It's got good bones. Exactly. <laughs> so, how, so what about the budget? What should we be uh, thinking of? What's realistic? Because uh, $100,000, not all of us can attain that. What advice do you have as we dream of our own um, outdoor oasis backyard? The budget is really whatever the person can afford. Um, you know, I mean, if you're saying, yeah, I'm going to pull out $100,000, you know, uh, equity of my home, mm -hmm. you have a lot to do. But you're going to talk about most likely out of that 100000 put 40 to 50 into a, a standard po um, pool mm -hmm. nine times out of ten. Mm -hmm. Um, you're probably looking at another 20, 30 in hardscape. And so then again, you fall back onto the landscaping aspect where they're the short, they're short changed. So as long as you can afford are one gallons and 15 gallon trees and so on and so forth. But then the whole aesthetic of the yard, you can have the nicest looking concrete, the go most gorgeous pool. But when you have a 15 gallon tree next to a <laughs> big nice pool, <laughs> yes, it, it, it loses its luster. Um, so we need to have a, a few thousand dollars for our landscaping at least, five yes. grand. Yes, I mean, you, there's definitely room to play with plant material. There always is. But at the same time, I would say to a homeowner, forego smaller plant material for a bigger plant. Mm -hmm. You know, and then you can always add, uh, you know, more plant material later. Or we can, you know, gear plants towards a larger, faster growing plant you normally have the first season you get a lot of growth out of that plant anyways mm -hmm. i think it's been a lot of uh, excitement working with the yamamoto's i think we have uh, um, really come up with some good ideas to really focus and pull them outside um, I, I think they were out in the backyard more than most people are anyways with the basketball aspect but i think now Steve and Zena are going to be able to mm -hmm. really enjoy it a lot more than they would before.